goals until the beginning of the third period. I knew uh, the defense was going to be good. I didn't know it was going to be that good. And obviously, it was kind of a battle of will to get one to finally crack through. Yeah, it was. And we, we stuck with it. I thought we played pretty solid three periods. Um, you know, go up 2 nothing, then you you don't like to give up a couple goals at the end. But that's a good hockey team. They get We take a couple stupid penalties. And... You know, they, t they capitalize on it, but it was nice to see us get the win. I think we deserved it. Anything said specifically on the bench? Because you pull your goaltender twice, it doesn't always pan out, but for Milwaukee, somehow they were able to find uh, not only the, a goal to pull within one, but to tie it up late. Yeah, I mean, nothing. Nothing we don't already know how to play it. I mean, you just got to be tight and hopefully you win that draw and you can get one out and kill about 20 seconds. But, you know, they did a good job. They, they won the battles. They were coming hard on us, too. So they kept pucks alive. We kind of a little, couple miss errors there with uh, not getting the clear. But, hey, we've done it to teams in the years. And uh, now we're, it's, uh, it was back at us. But I like how we didn't quit. We were confident. And we, we got the job done in OT. Darren Radish, another game winner in overtime. Now you and Milwaukee remain tied for the most overtime appearances at 17. It seems like a lot of extra hockey needs to be done, but you get the full two points anyways. Yeah, I mean, obviously we don't want to go to overtime. All It's nice to come in here with a 2 nothing lead and finish with a 2 nothing lead. But, you know, at least it shows that our team's competing hard enough that we have to, other teams have to go to overtime, overtime with us. Now a nice four-game winning streak on uh, about to start a nice six-game homestand. How much does that do to boost this team moving forward? Because you go from seventh place to fifth place and now looking to knock on the door and, and take some more spots in the Central Division standings. Well, as you know, it's huge, and especially anytime we can just stay at home, get a little practice time, and then just play home games is great. So, you know, we'll get a couple days here, uh, rest, and uh, get back to the drawing board, and then uh, hopefully we can keep this thing alive. You excited to face some new teams too with Wilkes-Barre, Scranton, and uh, Tucson right around the corner. Other than the Milwaukee's, Iowa's, and Chicago's, like you're used to. Yeah, it's nice, but it's it's kind of nice playing our division teams because it's playoff hockey atmosphere, right? And every team's uh, pretty tight, and uh, in any given night we can win or lose a game against them. But yeah, it's going to be nice to play some different teams, and uh, let's see if we can get some points.